Hey everybody, I'm Todd Anderson. Oh, and I'm Brad Nelson. <laughs> and you're watching the Versus Series by StarCityGames.com. All right, so today Todd and I are going to be playing a little bit of Modern. Yep, preparation for uh, SEG Minneapolis this weekend. The SEG tour stops for Modern. In the Midwest. Woo. It's a wonderful city. Yep. And if you're close, you should stop on down. But if you don't, you should watch online. Yeah, twitch.tv slash SEG tour. Right here. Yeah, just company shill. Oh, yeah. yeah. Star City Games. <laughs> you want to play magic? Yeah, sure. All right, you're on the play. Okay. Because I embarrassed you. You did beat me very <laughs> badly yesterday. That was not fun. <laughs> so modern is is a, a pretty sweet format for a number of reasons. Uh, mostly because you can kind of do whatever you want. We've seen. Oh, are you doing something crazy? Oh, of course. <laughs> you know, why would I play like the boring humans deck? You know. Well, that's what you do. Well, my hand is really bad. I'm going to take a mulligan. Uh, but okay. yeah, I, I watched this deck a little bit on uh, coverage at SCG Baltimore. It's pretty sweet. All right, well, I'm going to keep my hands super medium. All right, so I'm mulling into six. Uh, my hand is not great, but it could end up being nuts. <laughs> All right, well, my so hand's still just medium. Let's take a peek at our top card. We'll bottom it, even though we're going to be shuffling. All right, 17, cast Faith Delusion. Well, I can scoop the match. Scoop Since you said it was match. a sweet deck. Well, this looks like Dredge, and I am 0% against Dredge. It's not Dredge. And I'm not actually 0. I conceded to Dredge like this in a match with this deck, and my brother was testing this deck as well, and then he said he beat Dredge, and I was like, maybe I should have played it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I know what you're doing. Yeah. All right. So 17. Island. Are you playing Storm over there? I think we just keep both of these, but this way. Yeah. All right. I have way. drawn and I missed my land drop. It is your turn. Oh, no. <laughs> Whenever you, you have Faithless Lunar on turn one, I'm just going to keep it like every time. If I don't hit my there. land, I don't hit my land. It's fine. Whoop. Go. <laughs> go. Whatever. I'll get my vengeance in the next few games. Go. Seven right, cards. Seventeen. I'm control all day, baby. I just need to draw. Just need to draw a blue source, and I'll be in good shape. It's not like your deck does anything. That is very true. Go. <laughs> Come on. Move to discard. Before that, electrolyze you. Yeah, that's fine. Fifteen. Are you playing Nikolic's deck? Oh yeah, he's my he's my new buddy. All right, this one costs too much. All right. Oh, that's in that deck. Just like a one of. Wow. It's pretty great. Do you have any basics in your deck? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was not the the land to draw. Your turn. My deck is not uh putting up a great showing right now. Uh, I blame you. That's fine. <laughs> I could have fetched blue red. I thought about it. I was... right, so I'm at 16, and I'm going to but electrolyze I, yeah. you again. If I got super lucky, I wanted to make sure I had a black source, though. <clears throat> All right, you're at 15? 14 now. 14? I'm in Emrakul range. I don't know if that deck has that. Uh, move to discard again. I'm going to bolt you. Yeah, I'm at 10. 10. Snap bolt. I'm at 7. That way. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Then you can you can discard. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm at 5. Uh, Serum Vision. Sure. She got two burn spells for me. I'll keep that on top. Yep. Play that. Your turn. All right, whatever. <laughs> that was silly. All right, so it's not looking good for me so far this week. Down a match, down a game. Didn't play a blue source. Um, 
yeah, this matchup, I don't think it's particularly good. Uh, we're going to have to get a little lucky. Uh, we're going to be boarding out uh, these first three because there's not that many targets. And then since the games are going to go a little bit longer, I don't think that speed from this other card is necessary. Uh, we're going to be boarding in some ways to interact and protect ourselves. I don't know if these are cards that I want in this matchup, but I'm going to bring them in. I mean, not some of them, but some of the other ones. I mean, I just don't think I want any burn spells. I just feel like that's not the way I'm going to win. That's how you won that game. Because I, well, I yeah. didn't do anything. <laughs> well, that's, isn't that kind of like just guy's MO? Like, you're you're up against Tron, you're like, well, I better bolt snap bolt as fast as I can. Yeah. All right, I'm on the play for game two. Um, we're going to be playing this draw a little bit slower than normal. Um, I want to kind of wait on this card before we cast it, treat it more like a brainstorm, uh, a la Ben Friedman. If you, haven't, <laughs> if you haven't read his article, you should check it out. But this hand is, is fine. Yeah, my hand, I think, is on the really low spectrum, but I, I still think I should keep it. Right, your turn. Might actually get to play some spells this game. I think all I played last game was a Fatal Saluting, and then I died. Um, top, bottom. Your turn. The old post ordain. Oh, good draw. Your turn. Uh-oh. <laughs> <clears throat> that card seems good. It's not bad. Go. Draw. Now we'll go ahead and loot first. I guess I'm going to bring in some more burn. Don't plan on casting that one, I guess. Uh, I will choose to make you discard. You get a luck? I get a you look get a ski? and a buck. It's not good. <laughs> okay, so I can take instant or sorcery. Uh, dispel can stop this, so I think I just want to take that. But it'll make a snapcaster a little better. Hmm. Secure the voice might actually just kill me. But you can also snapcaster that. All right, we'll take the spell. Yeah. And I don't have a land, so it's your turn. All right. Don't think I need to worry about... about my double white source just yet. I don't know if I'm supposed to bring that in, but it is a two-mana answer to Deceiver XR. It seems mm -hmm. fine. Rune Halo? I don't hate it. <laughs> I do have to kill you a different way. Go. All right, loot. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh, 18. Yep. I will. Say, wait. So, have secure Snapcaster. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's say go. Drop. Yep. I think I keep both of these like that and pass the turn. Alright, I'll try to cast a Deceiver X Art. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Resolves. Alright, target your white source. Well, <laughs> I just feel so good. It's like the good old days. Better pat that X arc now. Go. All right. Or get Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Target. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dead. I'm very dead. Whee! All right, well, I'm on the play. Again, a hand that I'm going to need to find stuff, but uh, we can start digging. Uh, yeah, so since, again, we have a, a, a bunch of time in this matchup, I think I want to wait on these. But, I mean, we just want to, like, develop and make sure that we get good value out of them. 17, I guess? Yeah. All right. Mm, I just missed it. Serum Visions? Serum Visions. All right. Bottom, bottom. Your turn. 
All right. Well, we drew one that could change the texture of the game if we hit. So we'll yeah. Go ahead and do this. Try to get a little lucky. All right. Did not. You're I just will... lying to me. What? Why would I lie to you? Okay. All right. Uh, that I'm okay with. Yep. It was not a good hit. Sorry. And that exact situation is why we wanted to wait, and the card that we drew kind of messed that up. Now I think we're kind of locked into casting another one next turn. Well, this is kind of rough because we have sequences. We want both cards, but we have a sequence. I guess... It's hard to know which card is more important. I think it's that one. Go. Maybe I can just take the pain. I should just let you know that I'm like no defense. Get this tapped. Uh, thin our deck a little bit. Also, there's not a ton like unless we hit our one of spirit guide and another butter card. Ah. Thanks. <laughs> oh no. Um. Let's go. I guess that was a reason to. Anyway, we fetched the different one, so it doesn't matter. Well, now I'm just priced in. Take it. Which one? Oh <laughs> no! Take which one, man? <laughs> oh no. <sighs> It's probably this, I would guess. Yeah, because then living in because living it keeps it into play and gets rid of this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I am in trouble. All right. Well. So here's the part about this deck that I don't love. Like I'm able to Gristlebrand him this turn. But he's not going to die. Like I, I like the the versions of of this deck or the style of deck that kill the turn they put a gristle brand You're on the have battlefield. Seven cards though. Yeah, but I can't afford to take too much damage because then That's I might true. die. All right, and what's your life total right now? Seventeen. Yep. Yeah. All right, so you at ten. I'm at twenty four. I'll go ahead and draw seven. Two, three, four, one, five, five, seventeen. Six, seven. I'll go to 10, I think. Seven. Do not draw spirit guide, so I guess I'll just suspend this. Yeah. And discard. So I just got to figure out which of the best seven that I want to keep. So these two are fine. Get land. Hmm. Maybe I don't want both of these. One more interactive thing. Okay. Um, so we're going to be discarding all of this. So you have. Okay. This X out. Your turn. <clears throat> yep. I'm at seven. I'm at ten. Have you a 10, yes? Go. Draw. Alright, so I will collect brutality. Um, I guess we'll be doing both. 
guess I'll just discard this other collective brutality. Uh, minus and discard. So I'm guessing that you have interaction. So we're gonna take that. You can probably take that and kill me, maybe. Maybe I can't die. If I do this and just get dispelled though, where does that leave me? So now how many cards are in your hand? Uh five. I wonder if I let him go to nine and let him take one of these cards. Doesn't seem that great. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to nine. I'm, I'm minusing this and making you discard. Oh, I thought you discarded two cards. No, I just discarded Brutality. Oh, okay. So you're still staying at seven. Yep. I still think if I do that, then you counter and then... I think I need the tempo, but I also don't, he might, Todd might not take this, which means that it's not that great later, but he might have to take this. Okay, I'm just going to let it resolve. Okay. Um, yeah, that's probably not great. I will, am I just dead? Did I make a good play, though? Because I don't know if I'm supposed to crypt at that or not. I don't think so. I mean, yeah. you just... This is just bad for me. Yeah, I thought it was close enough to just, like, if not I just, fight. So if I, take, if I don't take Bolt, you can just go EOT, Bolt, Snap, Bolt, Attack. Or... But I don't have to spell up. I don't know if you have a counter. Hmm. All right. I think I actually have to take Bolt. So I was thinking maybe that you have to do that. All right. Uh, your turn. And here I think I should just snap, snap bolt. I could electrolyze trying to get both the counter spells up, but that doesn't. So, so if you go snap bolt, you still get to hold up dispel. That puts me to four. You attack for two, you can go electrolyze and still yeah. hold up dispel, and I'm dead. Yeah. So I'm gonna go for it and see what happens. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't take bolt. Hold on. But then I can go bolt snap bolt. You can yeah, take but the if spell. I, but if I take you the can spell, take the I think, spell. Yeah. yeah, I think I have to take the spell. Yeah, I think that's like a interesting line. Okay. That you, yeah, right. I have to take the spell. All right, I'm going to electrolyze you then. Okay, that's five. So you're going to nine, or are you going to seven? Uh, nine. Maybe I should have gained life. I think I've kept the wrong seven. Interesting. Yeah. Um, you're at five. Go. Draw. Uh, go. Okay. You're at two? Yep. Drop. Mm -hmm. Go. Uh, in your turn, I'm going to go for your Gorio's Vengeance. Uh, Targeting Kiki Jiki. So if his hand is Dispelled, Dispelled, Deceiver, I would lose to that. But if he doesn't draw land, then that can't happen. All right, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's bad. Uh, 
Yeah, that's bad. Oh well. Um. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. All right. Go. I was trying to bait you. And you're at two, right? It did not work. I'm at two. Mm. Snapcaster. Resolves. Bolt. Uh, Exarc. Untap. Counter unless you pay two. Uh, I'll bolt you. Yeah. All right. All right. Well. That deck does seem really interesting. Yeah, I mean, I could have gone for it in multiple spots, but I just didn't have protection. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of the downside of a deck like this, is that, uh, you know, the, the Splinter Twin part of the Splinter Twin decks back in the day weren't there to beat the fair decks. Mm -hmm. And this deck doesn't really have an alternate win condition other than, you know, hitting you with Gristlebrand three times. <laughs> and yeah. It just doesn't seem feasible. Yeah, I mean, the... The, the lesson to me with this specific build of it is that uh, one of the most important things to do in modern is to do something powerful. Mm -hmm. and But you should only do like one powerful thing and do a second powerful thing if it's like contextual to like the strategy. But this deck feels like it's doing too many things. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's kind of the problem with this type of deck is that, you know, I can hit him with a gristle brand and he's not dead. Yeah. Like, for me, that, you know, it's, it's a hard sell. Uh, for but but the deck is so interesting and cool and does so many different things. Like you can just play a control game a lot of times by going turn three as we're told and then living in just a wrath. Like you don't yeah. even have to get creatures back. Um, and you know in this matchup, like that aspect of the deck is not very good because you don't mm -hmm. put a lot of creatures on the battlefield. Uh, what I do like about this Grixis as foretold deck or Gorios as foretold is that it is solid against the big three decks in standard right now. Like or in modern right now, I think yeah. that it's good against humans. Uh, like something like meddling mage could mess you up, but you know you have lightning axes in the main deck. You have is that charms? You have you have ways to handle it so that you can. Well, to unlock you have your you stuff. have the like disgusting Gorio's vengeance, but then if they go that route, then you can ask for told living end. Mm -hmm. And so I I do like that aspect of it. Um, I mean I, I like the fact that you can turn three kill with like a reasonable draw. Like if you um. I mean, not only can you just draw a bunch with Gristlebrand set up like a perfect seven, but if you just turn one loot, discard Kiki Jiki, turn two, you can EOT uh, Gora's Vengeance back Kiki Jiki, and turn three, play Exarch, and then, oh, uh, you know, I mean, give Michael, all your things Ma to taste. Michael Major's now with Wizards, but when uh, when Jace was first printed, uh, Jace for his Prodigy, sure. I had to stare at so many Obsidot Gora's Vengeance or Kiki Jiki Gora's Vengeance brews with jace yeah. like he built every single one so i have like we we never actually did anything with it uh lucas blohan part of team genesis played uh gora's vengeance deck at the last modern pro tour and we all wanted him not to but he still did it anyway <laughs> sure. uh it's powerful in some ways but i i get the appeal of playing gorio's jace and kiki because it's just all a good package but yeah i feel like the deck is doing too too much stuff, so it doesn't have like the hand disruption mm -hmm. that really works well with Jace. Like yeah. if you go hand disruption, play Jace, flip it on turn three, it it, it can do some disgusting things. Yeah, uh, I mean this deck is very susceptible to graveyard interaction, mm -hmm. which which I don't like, and the fact that you have no real backup plans to to yeah. fix that is definitely a weak spot for the deck. But I mean, if you plan on playing against a lot of humans and black red hollow one, I think this deck is great. Yeah, and uh, I I think that Just Guy is just in the top five decks in modern right now oh, because yeah. of Jace. Yeah, it's super customizable, and you mean Teferi. Teferi, yes. Yeah. No, no Jace. No Jace. Teferi no Jace. is great. Teferi Jace Mind Sculptor is garbage, apparently. It is. In, in I don't know how that's a thing. In, in fact, um, I'm not opening it. This is just my personal buy order. I came in before we filmed <laughs> and just bought four Teferis. I wanted Teferis. a bunch of Teferis for yeah. every format. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably good in Legacy, too. No one's really playing... Like, you know, could five, be. five's a lot, but, you know, Jason Mind Sculptor is super powerful. And this, you know, I think it's it's already starting to show that Teferi is probably better than Jason Modern. Yeah. And if, if like, you know, Jace is disgusting in Legacy, I can only imagine that, you know, Teferi is also good. I mean, I, I could see it being in, like, the Blue Eye, like, Miracles-esque decks. Yeah. Maybe as a one-of. Yeah. Because it's really good in Mirrors. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, that's our show for today. Because yeah. we're a show now. Really? Uh, Yeah. Join us tomorrow for, are we no banning? Yeah. Oh. We're poppering. Oh, yeah, popper tomorrow. Popper. Oh, oh yeah. man. Dude, I, I know that the, the popper community is great. Mm -hmm. And every time we have a, a versus video go up on uh, YouTube, the comments almost always have at least two or three people are just like, popper? 
Popper? Yeah, Where's popper. the popper? I want to play some, I want <laughs> yeah. to see some popper. And they're like, you're getting it. Just wait. Just be patient. Well, I'm playing a deck I've never played before, so hopefully I can do it well. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow.